I, dri I was driving a taxi for most of the time, 20 years. I'm 61 years old and I work in the CWT program at the VA hospital. I worked for the United States Postal Service. I worked there 25 years. I retired. I ended up joining the Long Beach VA band. After I retired from the military, uh, I applied and I became a teacher. I worked 20 years at the Lake Island Fire Department and I spent 10 years in the Air Force. Employed self-taught welder, metal fabricator uh, from the military to, till I retired. And this is a fish gig. We live on the water. One thing I did was I built five portable hangers for the B-2 stealth bomber. I didn't want to use the CPAP because it was uncomfortable and I was afraid. And I see the difference now. Uh, I wake up more refreshed and when I'm using it, I'm using it every day. But all of a sudden I feel different, better. And right now, even when my nose is stuffed, I put it on and it clears the way instead of uh, giving me problems. You know, learning the golden rule, you know, teaching about the protractor, you know, learning ABCs, one, two, threes. That's what it was all about, you know. So I did that, very fulfilling, and because I did at risk. So I did that, you know, uh, for about 20 years. And then after that, uh, I went to the police department, and that's when they, they realized that I had congestive heart failure at that time. So, but I didn't let that slow me down, you know? So they told me to try the machine, try the machine, and, uh, and I sleep a lot better using the machine. I could feel the air flowing and everything else. But then they showed us, you know, that there was uh, different types of masks that you can use when you sleep. Okay, and so I bought into that idea, you know? I didn't have to look like the, uh, you know, what movie it was, uh, the, the Stylus of the Lamb, you know, the guy went, when, when the, the man, you know, I, I mean, I, I couldn't deal with that, you know? But uh, but the, the mask, you know, is very small, it's very around your ears, you know, and uh, very comfortable. That's a military name I got bare. Yeah, because a friend of mine, he went down in an airplane crash and he called, he named me Bear. A lot of people think because it's my size, but he named me Bear because I was able to sleep through artillery fire. So he said I was hibernating. So he just started calling me Bear. And so I just carried the name in his memory, Bear. You know, it's a program that aids us daily in our health for us, like our blood pressure, our sugar, for us being a diabetic. Telehealth, when we call our readings in each morning, they go over our readings, and if something is not right, especially with me, I'll get a call from Carmen. I've been here on this earth 59 years, and since I've been with the VA, you know, I can honestly say, if God was to call me home today, I can honestly say that without the medical attention that I was getting from the VA, I believe I would have been gone a while back, a long time ago. And I have Buffalo Bill with me, who is a, a prop used to, for doctors and nurses to practice their tube feedings on patients. And the telehealth, when I weigh myself and take my blood pressure every morning, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool and it's got me to lose a lot of weight and it's fabulous. I used to end up in the hospital all the time with congestive heart failure. But since I've been in the telehealth program, I haven't been in the hospital. But now that I got somebody monitoring me and saying, hey, Mr. Krigler, you done had a weight gain or all this, what are you doing? You know, control my fluid intake. And I got a method of doing that. So I'm, I learned a lot from the telehealth program. From my house to the mailbox is uh, a couple of hundred yards. I'd have to ride to my mailbox and back. Now I can walk down there, and I don't walk fast, but I can walk to my mailbox and walk back to my house. When they asked me over the rehab place what I wanted to do, and that was to learn to walk better. When you, when you start your exercises and everything, they hook a heart monitor up to you while you're doing that. Most of all of my friends around me told me that I was looking better and I can walk further now 
than I could when I started the program. When you start the rehab program, they start you off low and build you up. You get more and more and more. I say, Burl, next week you got to do 20 instead of 18. Well, I was fat, dumb, and happy and thought I was healthy, healthy as a horse. And just overnight, I came down with congestive heart failure. I was hospitalized twice or three times, three times. And uh, when this program was offered, the cardio rehab, I thought it would be a good idea to try it. And it worked out very well for me. I gained my strength. My uh, ejection fracture improved during that period of time. I still use the same principles of riding my bike and going to the gym and doing the stationary bike at the gym. And so getting on the bicycle and also losing a little bit of my equilibrium riding a, a wheeled bicycle was one thing I had stopped doing. So with the workouts that Warren and Mike put me through, I gained my strength. My knees still bother me, but I, I still ride my bike. I have noticed that he is breathing a lot better after he does his rehab, and his walking is 100% better. So the biggest improvement that I have found, or the biggest change in our life, was when Russell started his therapy because he was so sick and it seemed like it was a roller coaster ride with his congestive heart failure the way it was and then when he started the rehab he immediately started doing better and the more he did it the better he felt the stronger he got the more he got back to normal life became back to normal and so we are just very very happy and I'm a happy woman because I have my husband healthy <laughs> Okay, I, I was just wanting to say a lot of people com com complain about the veterans not getting good treatment. I just want to say I've been coming to Tampa to the VA hospital for over 20 years and they have treated me very, very well.